Hey friends, how are you? I hope you're having a great day today. Today we will be creating a llama, so let's get started. The first thing that we'll want to do is we'll want to make two lines coming straight down. These are going to be our llama's ears. If your lines are a little bit diagonal, meaning they're not straight up and down, that's okay if they come in a little bit towards each other. At the top of these lines, we're going to make a curved line and then we're going to come down. So a curved line and then we're going to come down. Now we're going to close up that space with a curved line. These are going to be your llama's ears. Let's put a little bit of detail in the ears by making some curved lines that are hooked together at the end. Now let's move down to our llama's face. So we're going to make straight line and then come down to a slight point. Straight line, come down to a slight point. Now let's go down to his neck. Llamas have really long necks, but I don't have a lot of space on my paper, so I'm just going to go down as long and as far as I can. Now I'm going to come back up to my llama's face and add a little bit of detail. I'm going to make some very large eyes and they're going to be wide set, meaning they're, going, they're not going to be close together on the piece of paper. They're going to be wide apart from each other. Then I'm going to make a shine mark and then I'm going to color the bottom part of the eye in with my marker. That'll make them nice and dark. To complete the eye, I'm going to make some really long eyelashes. Now remember, boy llamas and girl llamas both have long eyelashes. Now I'm going to come down here and I'm going to make an oval shape. This is for the mouth and the nose area. And then inside here, I'm going to make the nose, which is a straight line. And then kind of a soft V for the bottom part of the nose. And I'm going to fill that in with some black. And I'm going to make a, just a small smile. Those are two J's right there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a background for my llama. So I'm going to make a horizon line going here. I jump over my llama like that. And I think I'm going to make a big tall mountain right here with a little bit of snow at the top. And then over here on this side, I think I'm going to make a mountain that's not quite as big. It's maybe more like a hill coming up like that. I think I'll add a few clouds, a big white, fluffy cloud here and maybe a smaller one here. I think I'm really happy with that. I might even add a little bit of greenery right here for a little bit more detail. There we go. There's our llama. I hope that you enjoyed this lesson. See you next time.